My business is up about 33% from this time last year. Hey, this is Jeff Corrett. I am the founder and president of SC Oak. And today we're gonna to be talking about um, just a little bit of an update, kind of reflecting on um, why I think this, this holiday season is going a lot better than last years. Um, in fact, at this time last year, I was really kind of uh, frustrated and I don't know, it was a really tough holiday season. You know, I had lost a couple clients, uh, including a, a pretty substantial one that was definitely higher than average in terms of, you know, what they were paying me every month. So, you know, I put in some work, especially earlier in the middle of this year, trying to figure out like, you know, what I could be doing to maybe set some better expectations or retain clients longer. Um, so some of the things that I did were, you know, make sure to point out to the clients. And, you know, there's always, when I do a lot of the white label stuff, there's always the extra step of like, you know, I, I don't just have to convince um, the client, but I have to convince, I mean, the partner Technically, my client is the, you know, the white label partner, aka the digital marketing agency or the web design company. So it's like, you know, it's extra complex because I'm not just convincing, or, or not just like proving results to one person, but I'm proving I have to prove it to two. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's not my white label partner's idea when they want to cancel. It's it's the clients, and typically it's, you know. And sometimes, you know, we're not able to move the needle. Usually we are. Um, but, you know, sometimes we don't have enough time. Um, you know, but we do, our, we do our best to set the expectation that, yeah, this is going to take several months. We don't always get several months, depending on the way my white label partners kind of structure their, their own deals with their own clients, you know, because it, it is their clients at the end of the day. And, uh, but I go month to month with my white label partner. So... But anyway, um, I was able to, um, you know, two things, we're, we're retaining clients longer. And I think going back to what I was saying earlier is just, you know, just making sure to point out when we're having success, kind of going the extra mile. In fact, in fact, for a while, and I haven't been that good about this lately, but sending out a dedicated email, you know, between SEO what we call our strategic analysis, which is kind of our reporting slash strategy uh, document that we send out. So sending those dedicated emails was one thing we did. Just like, hey, I noticed uh, that you know you got number one for this keyword. Awesome. Talk to you later. Something as simple as that can go a long way. And then when we send our strategic analysis, making sure to point out in the email like, oh, you know, your traffic is up 400% from this time last year or something like that. Um, you know, I think little things like that help a lot. And then the other thing was, well, I guess two other things that I did. Number one would be just retaining clients longer. I guess I already said that, but um, I did this holiday sale. I, I, I talked about this in my last video where I give I gave um, like a special deal to my most loyal partners. And then I went online and created a video about how I did that. And I think potentially some of my old um, partners who I haven't heard from in a while um, suddenly reached out. I don't know if they saw that video or not. I'd like to think that maybe they did. And they'd be like, oh man, I'm, I'm missing out because I'm, you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't had an SEO plan with Jeff in a while or something like that. So. Um, but yeah, definitely had heard of, uh, a few people reach out that I haven't heard from in a while, which is great, you know, so, um, maybe I should ask them <laughs> if they saw that video, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, that helped. Um, and then having success with lead generation. So at this time last year, I was fully dependent on word of mouth and referrals for the most part with a few web leads, like. Um, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't very predictable. So I kind of supplemented, I started supplementing that with my LinkedIn outreach going, 
going directly to like LinkedIn, to my target market and starting conversations with them, not necessarily being salesy, but just, you know, making them aware that we exist. And, uh, you know, that has turned into some sales, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I mean, things are definitely in a, lot, a much better place than they were at this point last year. Um, and, uh, you know, things are headed in a positive direction. So that's exciting. And I just want to, I guess, share the reasons that I think that that's happening. You know, it doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen without a lot of hard work. Um, but, you know, my business is growing um, more than I thought. And, you know, I, I haven't done the annual revenue comparison yet. Uh, I, I try to compare, like, monthly recurring revenue versus monthly recurring revenue just because it's easy. And right now, things are in a pretty good place. So, uh, And I got a new deal, um, like a verbal agreement for a new deal that's supposed to start on January 1st, um, which will put my revenue um, to a new peak, but that it's never, that it's never been. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and that's... A direct client so I you know I charge more when it's a direct client um, in fact considerably more because there's no you know white label partner in, uh, to you know to get their margin so um, pretty exciting stuff and uh, and that's pretty much it just wanted to update you guys and, and talk about how I'm able to uh, grow my revenue uh, about 33% from this time last year um, and any questions? How's your revenue doing compared to this time last year? Um, did you did you hit your, your goals and all that stuff? Let me know in the comments below. I've got some really uh, similar videos. If you, uh, uh, you'll see a box pop up here. Go ahead and click that. And uh, that, that's kind of similar to this. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, take a look. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.